Alright, so basically, I was just kind of pondering the age-old question of, like, what is the deepest floor in Skull Cavern, you know? And then I, you know, I remember the old DF video that has, like, 2 mil views or whatever, and then he goes to floor 2 billion and something or other. But I've always wondered, why is this, like, the lowest floor? So I set out to investigate, you know, because, like, I kind of wanted to know this. And then I'm like, wait a minute, 2 billion and whatever? This number looks really familiar. It looks like the max number that an integer can go to, which is 2,147,483,647. So I'm like, okay, if I just use some snappy console commands, then I can simply do this and warp myself to the lowest possible floor. And it just happens to be an infested floor, which... I'll show you some funny stuff in a second. But anyway, if you look at this and compare it to the max integer limit number, you will notice that it's 120 numbers off. Like, it could go 120. Oh, everything around me is stopped. Everything around me is stopped moving. But anyway, uh, it's 120 less than what it should be. I put in this number and I got this number. It's 120 less than what it should be. So I was thinking, hmm, wait a minute, 120. What do, what do I recognize that number? And then I'm like, oh, the mines. The mines span from level 0 to 120. So basically, the first level of Skull Cavern is actually level 121 of the mines, which is why the old mines to, like, Skull Cavern glitch used to work. But yeah, so if I walk myself down to the lowest Skull Cavern floor, it's actually 120 less than what you think it might be, just because the mines exist and it has to account for the mines. But, like, that's... That, that's like some cool maths and whatnot, but once once you start playing around um, on these last floors, stuff starts to break. You know, the game, like, it can't, it can't let you go any deeper. It's like mathematically impossible for you to go any deeper. So time just starts to stop, uh, probably because it it dropped the ladder and then I click it and the game's frozen because it, it literally can't handle it. It's impossible. I've just got 10 billion lines of red text from Smappy. It's impossible to go down further. All right, I just I just realized that after uh, Smappy crashed, it also broke OBS. So I've just recorded another like five minutes of like black screen on accident. So yeah, let's just um try, try it again. What was I trying to do? Right, I was trying to show you some dumb stuff that can happen when you go down too deep in Skull Cavern. Right, I guess, let me just, yeah, I'm back down here. All right, so if I just wait until this freezes, because time's going to stop. I don't know why it stops in here, but eventually it's just going to stop soon. So if I just keep my, oh, fuck, <laughs> I accidentally killed the serpent. Well, I can just spawn my own monsters. That's fine. Yep. All right, time has... Oh. <laughs> they spawn in halves, no. <laughs> yeah, um, time's already broken. As you can see, if I swing my scythe... Um, yep, yeah, these permanently are in their dead form with the damage numbers out. Um, the scythe things, this happens. Um, all these nodes, they start to shake. And if I hit barrels as well, they also shake. This is moving because it's in its breaking, like it hasn't broken yet, breaking, and this is like just broken animation. They're just stuck in it because I've just frozen time. And if I get on my tractor, well, I actually can't. Uh, the game just doesn't let me. Now, I was spamming really hard to, to get out of it before, and I figured out that if you just press, if I just open my mob spawning uh, mod, it just lets me get out of it, which is nice. Get out of jail free card. But it's still- <laughs> This is so dumb still. Alright, now this time I spawned into a mummy floor because- Oh, you can't even see it. I was gonna show you the dumb stuff that can happen- I could just spawn some mummies, what am I doing? Anyway, it'll- Oh wait, time isn't- hasn't broken yet. I'll just wait for time to break. Alright, time's broken. <laughs> They're permanently red, the mist is permanently there. And yeah, um, yeah, that's, that was, that was a fun experience. But yeah, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that the integer limit is this, and the deepest level that you can go in Skull Cavern is this, because you need to account for 120 levels in the mines, like in the regular mines. So you take the integer limit and you minus it by level 120 in the mines. It's the deepest Skull Cavern level you can get, because the first Skull Cavern level is actually level 121 of the mines. I don't know if I like explained that before OBS killed itself, but yeah. I just made this video because I didn't think it would be worth like an eight minute formal video like I usually make. It's just like a little fun thing I just tried out. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I'm done with doing dangerously funny type things for today. If you enjoyed the video, please sub and like. Oh, frozen red mummy. Anyway, goodbye.